Hey guys, uh, greetings from Napa Valley, California. I am on vacation and uh, spending a few days out here in Napa. This is one of my favorite places to come. In fact, today I'm on the Sonoma side of the valley and working my way uh, from winery to winery doing wine tastings. And even though I'm on vacation, uh, I can't ever stop thinking about branding and, and lessons we can learn. So something popped into my head. I had to step out real quick and, and get this message out to you. Uh, as we're doing a wine tasting, many of them in fact, uh, you know, I, I thought, gosh, as, as you're comparing one varietal to another and trying to figure out which one you like the best, you're doing a direct, direct comparison. What's the difference? What's the difference between this one and that one? And even between wine varietals, as you go from one winery to another winery, you start to compare the wineries. And at the end of the day, you figure out, okay, we visited four wineries today. Which was your favorite? Let's compare and contrast. What's the difference between this one and that one? That's exactly what consumers do every day with brands. And that's what they're doing with your brand. Uh, every time they consider buying from you, they, they uh, compare you directly to the competition. What's different? Do I like this one or do I like that one? And is this one worth spending a little bit more money on? So here's the lesson. If people compare you to the competition and they can't tell a difference, if you're too similar, ultimately, the only thing they base their decision on is price at that point. All right, if they're all the same, which one's the cheapest? And we don't want to get into that game. So ask yourself, is there a clear difference between what our brand offers, our product, and the competition? And ideally, is that difference worth spending a little bit more money on. So that's the lesson. Uh, hopefully there's a clear difference between your, your brand and your product and the competitors. And hopefully it's worth spending a little bit more money on. So that's it for today. I'm gonna get back to vacation uh, and enjoy my next wine tasting. Again, adios, cheers from Napa Valley, California.